Okay, so the Canadians got one preseason game remaining. It's going to happen tonight against the Senators. And guess what? I think I'm ready. Yes, yes, I've seen enough. It's time to unveil my opening night lineup. But before we go ahead and dive right in here, it's important to keep in mind that A, Christian Dvorak is not going to be available until at least November. And B, Chris Weidman is still ah banged up as well, guys. I don't care how much Goff he's playing, he's ah banged up. He also just so happens to kind of look like he's being held hostage in this photo. But anyway, that's none of my business. What do we got here? It's line number one, and I've got Nick Suzuki between Alex Newhook and Mr. Colonoscopy Coffee. Now, I know, I know. I already hear you barking. They're too small. It's basically the the willow off good line, but hear me out. New Hook's got the speed, okay, and the creativity to keep up with these guys. I'm not saying that he's already earned it, but I would definitely give him a look on the first line for the first few games of the regular season. There's probably going to be a lot of movement on this top line anyway until somebody earns it, but I see no problem at all. Give a new Hook one or two games. Come on, let's make it happen. Moving on to line number two now, and I've got Kirby Doc between Uri Slavkovsky and Josh Anderson. And this one was a no-brainer for me, okay? Kirby Doc was an absolute beast during the preseason. I felt like Uri Slavkovsky actually looked pretty good on his wing. And meanwhile, Josh Anderson looked pretty good, well, everywhere. Guys, let's face it. Josh Anderson was easily one of the Canadians' most dominant wingers early on during the preseason. What's not to like about him? He hates the Leafs. Let's take a look at line number three now, and it's time for some Sean Monaghan, baby. He's going to be centering his own line. Alongside Raphael Harvey Bedard, yes, that's his name, and Brendan Gallagher. Now, I do expect Raphael Harvey Bedard to be up and down the lineup like a light switch throughout this season, mostly because he just, well, he works. You know what I mean? The guy's a spark plug. And in my heart, I kind of like the idea of playing him on the line with Brendan Gallagher. Just so, you know, they can annoy the hell out of everybody. But if I'm being 100% honest, <sighs> Galley's preseason, man, was kind of... Bleh. <sighs> and that sucks, man, because I really like Galley. And I'm really hoping that somehow he can get his shit together. But as for Sean Monaghan, yeah. Again, he's another guy that's going to be all over the place as the season goes on. First line, second line, hospital bed, third line. Sean Monaghan is a butterfly. Next up, we got line number four, and I've got Jake Evans between Piz Dispenser and Tanner Pearson. But wait, what about Yoel Armia? Screw Yoel Armia. Just kidding. Tanner Pearson, obviously, you know, he kind of needs to earn his spot. I don't even know what we have with this guy yet, so we'll just give him some time. But that pretty much does it up front. Now, as for the defense pairings, here's where it gets interesting, okay? Because there's quite a few options available. But Kazakh stands right now. I've got Caden Gooley and David Savard paired up on the first unit. A lot of this depends on Mike Matheson, and I mean, if he's available to return. But for now, we'll go with Caden Gooley. The second pairing, I've got Arbor Jacki paired up with Honda Civic, who was just a beauty during the preseason. Probably the Canadian's most underrated defenseman, in my opinion. And on the third pairing, I've got Jordan Harris paired up with Matthias Norlander, who, yes, has outplayed Justin Barron. Isn't that nuts? But Norlander's looking better right now. I think he's going to stick up with the Canadians for a couple of games, or at least on Tom Matheson gets back. The goaltending is obviously pretty self-explanatory. I've got Samuel Amantin Ball getting the nod over Jake Allen, but I mean, they're probably going to be duking it out all season long for position number one. So, that's not a bad thing. This is my opening night lineup. Does it mean anything? No. It doesn't mean Jack Diddley squat. But you can go ahead and let me know your starting lineups down in the comment section. Don't forget to chew on the like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.